We make the best vehicles because they're right for our customer. Angloco is a family business, employing around 140 people. We're based in Batley in West Yorkshire. Big enough to be able to cope, but small enough that we can deal with it personally, that we can deal with an individual. We've been uh, 55 years in business. Angloco build bespoke vehicles exactly what the customer wants and to a nice standard. I've worked very closely with the customer from the very beginning, the discussion process, pre-tender right the way through the procurement process to the point of delivery. Usually the customers come in with a specification so they know what they're looking for before they come. Each meeting the customer will come and they'll say, ah yes, but I was wondering what about we've had a change of equipment, we've had a change of personnel, we're changing the station that this vehicle will go on, we need to adapt this to suit that. Always kept the customer focus on listening to what they need and want rather than trying to force onto them our preconceived ideas as to what the right solution is. The benefits of being a smaller company and it being a one-on-one -on -one service is that we can more or less say, yes, you can. If we can do it, if it's possible, we'll do it. And if they're coming back to us, then we know we're doing this job right. During the design process, we work very closely with the customer and indeed our sales department to ensure that the product meets the expectations, the performance, and obviously legislation, whether it's going abroad or for the UK. And whilst we're not firefighters, we've built so many different vehicles for so many different applications. We've got a wealth of knowledge of, of solutions that not always the customers come up with. We're always looking for innovation. We make sure that anything that we do do for a customer that's new to them has been tried and tested before we actually put it into production. So we do prototypes where possible. But the important thing is that we engage with the customer, we explain what we're doing before we manufacture, and then he's able to see exactly what we produce and is not surprised only pleasantly when it comes to acceptance. We're quite global actually, we've been selling vehicles overseas for over 45 years. Internationally we're expanding all the time, uh, we've now exported to over 70 different countries. Everybody looks to the United Kingdom as having the very best standards. We have a, a, a professional fire service here that is rated as one of the finest in the world. We found that there's more demand for the smaller vehicles um, and it's not just within the UK, it's now becoming worldwide. You can have a car fire that can be extinguished with thereabouts 40 litres of water as opposed to turning a major appliance out that's got a crew of maybe five, six people. Angloco has a, a fantastic tradition and a heritage and it's known as a, a quality brand within the industry. I've been here just over 25 years. I'm Richard Blythe. I've been at Angloco for 30 years and I'm a service engineer. When I first came it was very small scale. Now we manufacture more in plastic bodies than we do in this traditional coach building style which was aluminium, stainless steel or mild steel bodies. We interact with the customer from the beginning as soon as the vehicle is with the customer on their premises and we look after the vehicles all their lives to the end of the life and we have a 24 hour call out that we would be there to help the customer all around the world. We know that the customer wants quality, cost and delivery. And at Angloco we are focused fully on giving the customer exactly what they want on those three metrics. We're here to support those customers with more contracts that where we're asked to provide totally fixed costs for life, where the customer knows exactly what a vehicle is going to cost uh, through its whole life and even beyond where we guarantee to buy it back at the end of its life for a fixed sum. 
We know that delivery is massively important to the brigades and to, to the authority, and that is something we absolutely drive home through the plan, through the procurement, through the KPI. Coronavirus being a challenge, uh, throughout the early part of the lockdown, we were seeing key suppliers close their doors, late deliveries of key components, and thankfully, because of our, our heritage and, and the high level of skill in our workforce, we've been able to bring back in-house so many of the key components and services that we now rely on external suppliers for. It's great to see the team growing. Uh, it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago and I had to make sure that we had 140 strawberry tarts coming in to make sure that everyone in the company got one. Uh, and each year it's a, it's a bigger number of tarts that needs to be bought. It's a great feeling to have a growing company and such a dedicated team. End of day, you've got that satisfaction and knowing what you've built is going towards keeping people safe in industry and private sector. You can see it leave the yard and you know that's going off somewhere in the world to save lives probably for decades uh, and it's just it fills you with pride and it fills the team with pride. We are the best value but more than that we're always there for them. We do a bespoke product and a quality product. Cheesy as out but probably they love that we've put into it.